Yeah, baby. You see this little cut right here. We're fishing another shoreline in Eastern Pontchartrain. You saw in the last episode, we ended it saying we were moving. Well, this is where we moved to. We just working down the shoreline again, looking for eel grass, still throwing the top water. Got a little bit of time left before the sun gets too high on us. Came to this cut right here. Let me see if they got a few more in here. Came to the cut and I wanted to focus on the mouth of it. You can see how that matrix mullet just walks the dog on a zigzag motion over the surface. Got nice grass up in here. And that's what you want to look for right now. Ida took a lot of our grass, but where you can still find it, you can still find these guys right here. And you can put a nice box together. Nothing better than throwing hard baits. All right, so a little top water hard bait bite slowed up. Sun's up now. So we came up in some of the ditch, ditches that are feeding this uh, shoreline here in Eastern Pontchartrain. Switched to a very neglected color. This color has been good for decades in Louisiana. Black, jet black with a chartreuse tail. That's our Spartacus Vortex. And everything loves it, especially bass and reds. Let's see what we can do back here. Ah, you can see how narrow that ditch is right there. But that's what we call a choke point. Now when you have a narrow ditch like that, meeting a big body of water, that's like train in the background. It could be bass, reds, good size reds, rat reds like that one, or the ones that we're catching right here. Could be little uh, school trout, 12, 14 inches. You just never know, but that's the kind of stuff you want to focus on. These little bitty narrow trinasses. You know, and you might be in a foot and a half, two foot of water, and you get in a trinas like that, and it's got four foot, six foot, and that's what that's where the fish will suction to. Oh again on that neglected Spartacus vortex shed. This is a great color, been great for years. Like I said, these choke points could be anything in there, trout, reds, bass. This particular choke point looks like a little juvenile holding section, but nevertheless, you know, we're still in that transition time where we do catch a lot of throwbacks, but you come here in the choke point, this is something I'll remember. I've never fished this in my entire life. I come over here and maybe December and everything's keeper. just full of fish we hadn't had a bite in a minute so even though it's throwbacks this gets the juices flowing come to a nice little choke point start getting some bites get the juices flowing all right as you saw me a minute ago i was fishing out the back of the boat this is our poor man's power pole right here if you uh, don't have a power pole and you ever come in the marsh and you come across a little choke point like this, it's got fish and you want to stick the boat, you just pick this bad boy up, push it up in the marsh, and push it back down. I'm going to just pick it up, let the wind blow us off of here, and then we're going to continue our drift through this uh, little choke point here. As you can see all that bait over there, now we're just coming down, hugging the shoreline. We came out that suction zone that we talked about that had a lot of juvenile fish. Now we're on some nice fish. Got some cloud, cloud cover that popped up there. So I put the top water back on. Not really the ideal bait I'd be throwing right now, but when I got a little clouds, I just enjoy 
does blow offs, it just makes it so fun. You just don't want to touch one of these. Always wear your sunglasses when you're using these hard baits. But now John and I are just hugging this shoreline. It's leeward. The wind's starting to really rip. We're hugging it, parallel casting it, and we're starting to catch some fish. I'm throwing the top water. He's throwing the vortex shad. Spartacus, he's staying with that, which you saw we caught several fish in the ditches with that. And we started to put a nice box together now. Makes close to a limit of reds, handful of trout, top water, jerk baits, and the vortex shad, and what we call the neglected color, old Spartacus. You can ask the people down in South Louisiana how effective black and chartreuse is. As you saw it today, though, wear out the reds, caught some bass, just a great day. So get your hands on some of these products. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box. We'll be putting some of these in the box. Again, look at the little ditch right here. We went over this. Choke points, guys. Choke points right here. We just we didn't see a fish up in the marsh for a good 10 minutes. We hit the choke point where it hits the lake. First cast in it. Bam. We put this fish up. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for fishing in the fall. Got all kinds of different styles of fishing in this estuary. Check them all out. Get out here and get on this action. Boom. All right, let me pick up that poor man's uh, Cajun anchor again. Or should I say power pole? And I'm gonna show you guys how you get out of a tight spot when you press up in a marsh. Look at this, we got a 18, 19 foot boat and a very small gap to get out. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna just put it forward, turn the wheel all the way this way. And I'm gonna use the marsh to hold me and it's gonna move the tail end of the boat towards the deeper water. And now, Go backwards, wiggle it off the marsh a little, go left, right, left, right, that'll wiggle the boat when you push up on the marsh. We out of here. Get this puppy on plane, we get a little bit of water right here. A little 360 action guys next episode.